Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana. This is Monique's Money Well computer, and like always, I will have all the information down in the description box. Specializing in refurbished computers, Money Well assembles new systems from old parts, some still under minimal warranty. A great educational tool for kids. Each system also includes free job seeking software, game bundle, and protocol converters. Spend money well with a money well computer. Kitchen sink not included. All credit goes to Monique. This computer has a bunch of different options. It's basically like a collective. You can do the basic things like find a job, play games, write, select a career. You can retire, select your job. You can also shop online. I'm not really going into much detail on most of these just because I find that these are kind of like self-explanatory. However, the one that I do want to talk about is the reason I am making this video. I want to talk about banking and having multiple bank accounts like on this computer. You go to bank online, you get a few like a few um, different options. Let's say you want to take a loan. Here it is. It says 100,000 has successfully been added to Bailey's bank account. Now it does show up here in the family funds, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's all her money. And it says my account 100,000. Okay, so our girl is coming over and she's going to be checking some other accounts. It will bring up this menu, which it says um, you can check the accounts for other sims. So for example, we know these people so we can check their accounts which I think is kind of fun. Let's see how much money Ted has. Ted has no money. Ted, you're useless. <laughs> I'm gonna have this girl get a loan as well. It says here that she has 100,000 currently on her bank account, but as you see in household funds, it says that we currently have 200,000. But if you were to go to bank online and check your money, you would see that we have 100,000 and I'm pretty sure if we were to check Bailey's, it would have the same. Now, when you have a loan, you have have to of course also pay off the loan which you can easily do by going here and select pay off loan or you can take out multiple loans i'm not exactly sure if there is a limit to how much you can owe um how much you you know how much loans you can take out but basically you take a loan you pay the loan that's how it goes now we can also transfer money um to household funds now we can transfer our money to the households that are in the bin and then select our money or playable sims, which I think they mean within the household. Now you can also do it to bank accounts and you just select how much you want and then select the bank account that you want to send it to. And of course, we can also go ahead and donate money. We're gonna go and click on the computer and then donate like 30,000 to charity, which gets taken off from the total funds. But if we were to check our money, it actually says that we still have 100,000 on our account. That's because when you donate something, it takes it off from the entire family funds, but not from your Sims personal bank account. So now that we transferred some money to bank accounts, we can check our money and um, see how much we still have. So as you guys can see, the money that we got from our loan um, was used towards paying something else. We transmitted 30,000 to popcorn and it was distracted or detracted from our household funds. But if we go here and click on bank online and check money, it still says we have 100,000 on our loan account. Let's go ahead and pay off that loan that we have. It says that we currently have zero simoleons on our bank deposit. For example, we only have 67 simoleons. We can simply go ahead and check our, you know, check our bank account. We have 22,000 in it. We don't have much money. So let's withdraw it and just say like, oh, wait, let's withdraw all the 22,000. So even when you have no money in your family household, your Sims can still have like 21,000 in this case on her bank account and she can still send money to her her children to other sims so even if you're broke as hell and you don't have any backup well at least you think you don't have any backup if you just go and use this mod and you know set up yourself a little bank account and you know put some money in there just in case you can technically withdraw that money at all times and just start over basically there is a lot of things you can do with this mod I think the most important part for me is that it's super, super, super handy. Like you can basically just set up your household with eight Sims and give them all, give them all a, their own bank account. 
I've been using this mod in my university let's play and it just it's just really 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 handy because you have multiple sims and instead of them sharing the household funds which i guess technically they do as long as you make sure you deposit some of their in, in their own inventories in their own personal bank accounts once these sims move out they will have the money but it's like split in three so even if you have twenty thousand to begin with as long as you put maybe like seven thousand in each of their inventories in each of their bank accounts you will have that amount of money when you move into another house. It's really nice to have an option to share money. I mean, for the baby challenge, for example, I don't think I really need it, but let's just say if you do need it for something, it's just it's just really, really fucking handy. And let's say, for example, we get, we get in trouble, you know, we can just get a loan, pay it off, things like that. Like I said, I don't know if there's any interest, how exactly a loan works, but if you want to download it and find it out for yourselves, that's totally fine. I mean, hey, I'm just sharing this with you guys. I don't know everything. To kind of round this up, there's other things you can do on this computer as well that are just as fun. Get into college, get a pet job, you know, school, work online. You can also shop online, which has a lot of different options for, you know, basically to buy anything you usually would buy if you had to go to a community lot, which I think is really cool. Either way, if you want to check it out for yourself, feel free to do that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have as much fun with this mod as that I have. It's a bit of a short thing, but you know what? I really like this mod and I just wanted to show it with you. I just wanted to share it with you guys so we can equally have as much fun <laughs> doing a bank a banking in our games. I mean, banking in real life is no fun, but banking in The Sims, it's not that bad. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye bye.